I did an interview and the first question out of their mouth was to me and it was, what makes you think you can write this game? Which is a fair question. But I was surprised by it because I didn't expect it to be the first question right out the gate when I had the head of the studio next to me. So many people instantly, oh, well, I liked this until I found out Jessica Chobot was involved. Oh, the PSP liquor? What makes her think she can write a game? I mean, I didn't join up to this business so that I could use it as a launching pad to become an actress somewhere. I'm still here. I'm still here because I love it. You know, I'm freelancing. I'm a, I have a new baby. And so it's really irritating to still have to deal with that same bullshit attitude from people. What's up, everybody? Greetings, everyone. Hey, everybody, Jess here with Mixed Reviews. I'm Jessica Chobot. I'm Jessica Chobot. Jessica Chobot. Jessica Chobot. Und nehmen wir Jessica. Jessica Chobot. My name is Jessica Chobot, and I guess I am a freelance video game host for web and TV, and a writer for a Zombies Daylight game that is coming out, and a mom. And that kind of sums it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's get your paddle. I'll start getting ready for the day. And so he gives me about an hour to two hours to do that if it's, it's a good day. While he's napping, usually I'll try to do some writing or, well, I mean, our house is an absolute pigsty right now because we're moving, but if it wasn't, I'd try to clean something or just straighten up. Yes. You're on camera, buddy! I mean, this is easily, being a mom is easily the hardest job I've ever had. First thing I did was call my mother and say, I'm so sorry if I was ever a dick because this is the hardest shit I've ever gone through in my life. In high school, I became a goth kid and uh, started wearing a trench coat or a leather jacket. And that pretty much was how um, I was up until college. And I had graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, uh, which doesn't mean much when you are living in Michigan. And I was working as a secretary at a real estate company and I ended up dating and falling in love with one of the realtors there. And uh, we ended up getting married because at that point, that's kind of what you did. And then about a year and a half, two years into the marriage, I realized this is just not the way it's supposed to be. And I basically have what I call a quarter life crisis. So I was always kind of obsessed with Japan from a really young age. I got online, I bought a one-way ticket. No, yeah, no, round trip. So I finally get there, and it's everything I thought it would be. And I was like, this is so awesome. I can't believe I did it here. I made it here all by myself, you know? And, I, and I, it's like my second weekend, and I kind of starting to know my way around. So that was kind of my, like my big, oh my God, you guys are gonna make me cry. <laughs> that was like my big, holy shit, I can be an adult for myself moment. And I don't need to be married to be important. We're heading on, gosh, I think this is my first urban exploration adventure since, for, God, for years. But I'd like to go and check out the Los Angeles tunnel, hidden tunnel system, which as a writer, I mean, honestly, just as me, whether I'm writing or not, it's just exciting. It gives me um, a sense of the type of feeling that I want the player to have as they're playing the game. I'm just kind of that, what's gonna pop out at me. It's just kind of like letting your imagination kind of run wild with what could happen. Hello, anybody there? I'm currently working on a title called Daylight from Zombie Studios. It's basically a um, female player character who wakes up uh, to discover that she's in this abandoned hospital that had been around from the early 1900s. What inspired the location and, and part of the history of Daylight was a place like the Sheldon Hospital that I used to explore as a, as a kid. Before they tore it down, I used to go in there all the time. Like that's where the teenagers would go to hang out and scare themselves, you know? Who just has this open for anybody to come and check out? I mean, I guess it's public record, so they're just like, if you want to search it, go search it, right? Is that the deal? No. 
A lot of it is story that we're trying to show the player character through found items. So things like newspapers, books, things like that that kind of piece together the story as you walk through this world. Oh, I think this is it. We found it. Shh. I think somebody's in here. That's kind of the vibe that I like. I hope that somebody gets out of this game is that exploration of what happened here. At some point, there were people here. This is kind of the vibe and that feeling that like, what's around the next corner that we're going for? I mean, how can you beat that? That's just awesome. I mean, how many times have we seen that in a video game when you're exploring and you come to this and you're like, shit, I gotta unlock something I can't get through. So then you run down there to the like water heater, which unlocks this for some reason, and you run through and you find everything. It just, it's so cool. This is what I would do on my weekends by myself. I completely would come down here with like my camera and just tape myself wandering around. <laughs> we found it! Come on. Who's that? What is that, dude? Huh? Oh. I've always viewed relationships as you've got these circles. You've got people that surround you that, yeah, you could have good relationships with them or they're cool to date, but you're not gonna wanna marry them. And then there's soulmate. And soulmate is, holy shit, I found the other half of myself, and that is Blair. I wanted to show you guys this because I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. This thing, when I proposed to Jessica, she's obsessed with Wonder Woman, like, I, like the most obsessed I'm sure you've probably It's pretty heard. much the only comics character I care about. I got this uh, room at the W in San Diego and like had everything removed from the room except for this one thing on an easel in the room. And I'm like, like just total tunnel vision. And she's like, oh my God, that's super cool. It's like, looks like something Jim Lee would draw. And then she grabs her phone and starts, and I'm like, oh, that, that does look like Jim <laughs> Lee's stuff. And then what is, does it, does it say something? And finally she looks over and then sees, you know, Jessica, will you marry me? And then I don't even remember what I said to propose, but. I don't think you said anything. Yeah, but she said yes, obviously. And uh, here we are. Hey guys, welcome back to IG Extended. Today we're talking to the writer and studio head of Zombie. Uh, we've got Jessica Chobot and Jared Garretson talking about Daylight, the upcoming Unreal 4 procedurally generated horror game. I met Jared and Zombie Studios through Blair, actually. You know, one day we were kind of hanging out and, and Jared had mentioned how he wanted to look into starting a new game. And I said, oh, I love horror genre games. They're my favorite. I really like the psychological ones. And so we started talking and tossing a couple ideas around. And he's like, we well, are really into this, all this weird Shit. <laughs> why don't you, why don't you, um, you know, write up a treatment? We had a lot of meetings and Jared managed to go to Atlas and Atlas picked it up. And I am now finding myself in the deep end of the pool. Now, some info already did come out about the game via text uh, on some websites, but this is the first time we're talking about it in video form and kind of addressing some of the controversies that people have or questions they have about the game. First of which I have is Jessica. Mm -hmm. You and I come from the same world of gaming media. Um, what credentials do you have to be writing a video game? I just hope my involvement doesn't take away from people giving it a fair shot. And I can already tell that that's sort of what's happening, at least what you see in comments and boards and blogs. Nine times out of 10, the articles I've seen written up about it mention me in the first, not even the game, Mention me in the first paragraph, my involvement, and the fact that I was the PSP liquor girl. Like, why am I your punching bag? Because I licked a PSP seven years ago? What, I didn't do anything in between those seven years to prove that I like really enjoy games and love this business? I really hope that people enjoy the game and give it a shot for what it's worth. You know, and if you don't like it, you don't like it, that's fine. But don't think that you're not gonna like it just because I have worked on it, which is unfortunately what I keep running into. Right now with the baby and everything and the move and all these other changes, I have to like look at unemotionally, is this a realistic avenue to try and travel? And is it, is it a steady, secure job? 
We are moving, yeah. Uh, which is, again, one of the most terrifying things ever, especially if you live in Southern California, because houses, not the most affordable things out here. And then today, being there and being able to kind of make it our own by choosing the paint colors and, and seeing where we're gonna make our improvements, that really got me excited. This is gonna be the house that Emerson grows up in. This is gonna be, even if we move, um, it will always be the first thing he remembers. So he probably won't remember this place, but he'll definitely remember the house that we are buying right now. And that makes everything okay. Yeah, this is the pool where all of Emerson's friends are gonna piss in constantly once he gets a little older. You talked about that moment when you were in Japan. Mm -hmm. When you turned on a dime and really started to take control of your life. You described it as being selfish. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're being selfish now? in your life? Uh, that is a big struggle for me. That has been a big struggle for me with now my new marriage and also with the baby in the sense that um, my selfishness has allowed me to succeed for so long and have such a, a nice life that I never expected to have that it's really hard to learn to not be selfish anymore and I've got two people depending on me. Uh, and a, you know, one of those being literally depending on me for life. <laughs> Which, it, uh, you know, it's hard to not get frustrated when I wanna work and knowing how important that is to me because that's how I get my sense of self. And then you feel guilty because I can't believe how blessed I am to have such a great husband and such a great baby and such a healthy baby. So I'm trying to find the balance and I'm, I'm finding it, but it's just really, really hard. Tell me how. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. But that being said, I can't imagine my life with anybody else. And I, I, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. 